Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. Today is October 5th, 2019, and I have uh, just slit the tape on my November um, Memphis season Cocoa Daisy kits. So I got home from work last night about 7 o'clock, and the box was on the front porch, and it was too dark to film, but we're going to dig in today. And I've got all my Foxy Fix samples out here, well, some of them anyway, my Spice and Lush um, and Zoe samples, so that I can choose a planner, uh, a cover to go with um, the kits. Uh, I need to pick something probably today so I can get my order in so it'll be ready for November. So we're gonna open up everything and then I'm gonna sort of spread out probably the stickers and see if I can pick something that will look good. So we are going to start with, as always, the planner kit. The planner kit. Alrighty, here we are with the planner kit and um, before we get into that, here is the kit card. I love the kit cards. I just love this. I kind of wish I had kept these um, for all these months because it just would be kind of cool to look back on. The paper that the card is made of is really cool. It's like almost feels like a watercolor paper. Um, anyway, it's got the name of the kit across the top, Memphis Season, and some of the graphics um, and colors, which I'm in love with already. And then the back of the card always has a little blurb about the inspiration behind the kit and um, sort of what made Christine go in this direction. That's always kind of fun to read. So here's the kit card. This makes a nice pocket decoration or bookmark um, or just you could fussy cut out these little leaves. There's just a lot of things you can do even with this. So I never like to waste the kit card. Um, and then there's also a referral card in here that tells you if you send your friends to Coco Daisy and they start a new kit subscription, uh, you and they both get a $10 uh, coupon to spend in the store. So this is always fun also. Plus there's, it's, the card is actually useful on the back. So that's nice. And let us now dive into the planner kits. Uh, since I changed to my Print Pression Weeks planner, I no longer get a Coco Daisy insert. So this is the planner kit with no inserts. All of the stuff in here is just like any other planner kit. It just doesn't have a dory booklet or ring pages, but all the accoutrements are the same. So let's see what we've got here. First of all, a pen, and I do love the Coco Daisy pens. They write really nicely. This one is very pretty. I hope you can, I'm, I'm sitting below my camera. Let me stand up a little bit, make sure I can get into the shot. I, this is like, I love this paint splatter. Um, I know that the pattern behind it is supposed to be reminiscent of terrazzo tiling, which it is, but it also sort of reminds me of Jackson Pollock paintings. Um, and there's this beautiful turquoise uh, stones in the middle, and of course the daisy on top. These are gel pens, so when you twist, you're gonna see this little wax button on the tip. You just sort of use your fingernail to kind of take that off. That's just to keep the gel ink from leaking during shipping. And once you get that scraped off, then your pen is ready to go. So love to have the pens. I have quite a nice collection of these now, uh, and they're always awesome to write with. And we have our first washi tape. This one looks like it has really cool, that again, that sort of paint splatter with all the different colors in it. That's gonna be very useful. We have die cuts. I'm loving what I see already here. Ah, look at these. Let's see, can we get focus there? There we go. Very cool. And the tabs. You know, I haven't been using the tabs much since I'm in my print impression weeks now. I haven't wanted to add the bulk to the pages, but I gotta find something to do with these tabs because I'm a tab girl and I just adore them. So these are really cool. And gosh, I am just in love with the leaves. And let's see, we have a sticky notepad. Excuse all the crinkling, but sometimes I just like to open stuff and see if I can get the packaging open, that is. Ah, these are pretty cool. I love the grid. I would be happy if every piece of paper in the universe had a grid on it because I like to write with a grid. There's that paint splatter terrazzo tile pattern again. That's really cool. Oh, I didn't see that date location. That's awesome. And then we have, oh, let's go in here, stamps. And as I understand it, somewhere in this kit, I think in here I can see down below, there are stencils to go with this stamp set. So that's pretty cool. 
love the banner, love these. And you can stamp the banner and then stamp um, you know, the title over top of it. These are gonna be fun to use. I'm already having ideas for my planner layouts here. And then let's see what's in this package. Okay, we have, set this aside. Here is the notepad. And the notepad doesn't have a grid, but it does have lines. That makes me very happy. Again, my handwriting goes, no matter how hard I try, always goes uphill. So I love to have lines. And there's always something to be thankful for. Gratitude is sort of the theme of the kit this month. So you're gonna see that a lot, and that's pretty cool. I love the note paper. We've got two extra pen refills, which is always nice to have. And then here are those stencils that I was telling you about. So these coordinate with the stamps. So that's pretty cool. You can use, um, you can either just use a pen and outline these, or you can mask off the parts that you don't want to see, and then you can use um, one of those ink, uh, a foam ink dauber and daub ink on, and use actually um, ink in there. Maybe I'll do one a layout with one of those sometime in the coming month. Ooh, look at the little weather ones. Oh, I'm digging that. That's cool. Yay, awesome, those will be fun. And then let's see, we have the tag. I love the decorative tags. This is awesome, what a great pattern. And we have the planner stickers. So by the time I get through with my kits, I'm gonna have a zillion stickers, which I love, because you just can't have too many. The planner kit always comes with these labels to go on your tabs or you can just use them you know in your in your planner box they come with these decorative stickers i love the smile your box of happy is here sticker i have that one on my um, planner for this week because yesterday my kit arrived i love the binder clip stickers those are cute and the pen slash pencil sticker is cool and then you always get this page, which has some dates and days, and then it's got some weekends, and then all these little like bullet points and arrows. These are good for um, bullet points or when you're just wanting to star something. Your functional stickers here, your reveal day sticker. You've got like an arrow. So these are always good. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm getting over like an illness from like a month ago that the children gave me at school. And then you get this page, which has November, and it's got actually two um, tab labels, which you can use as additional tabs, or you can use these over top of, let's see, you can use them over top of the die cut tabs. Um, if for some reason one of these patterns just doesn't float your boat, these will fit right over top. Um, and then we've got just a ton of stickers. If you really take your time to look at this page, we've got some flags, we have some little corner, uh, quarter round stickers. We've got some arrow stickers. These are um, page reinforcers. So I don't know if you can there see carefully, like the middle hole comes out, but the middle hole, those little round holes in the middle, those make good little check, like checkbox stickers. And then we've got some arrows and hearts and such. There's always a decorative sticker here. And then we have two little like tag stickers. And then we have some holiday stickers. This page has a lot of stuff on it. It's deceptive. So even just with, even just with these, you have a ton. So there's the planner stickers. And then we've got the planner papers. So they come large format so that you can fold them around an insert if you want, or you can cut them down the middle and have two sheets. I love, this is what I'm saying looks like Jackson Pollock, and Jackson Pollock is probably my most favorite modern painter, um, even though he painted like in the 70s, but I, I just love it. So this is gonna be probably be my favorite pattern this month, and I think this is what the washi pattern was. Oh yes. Uh, on the reverse side, oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. I love the dots that you can see in the background. Ooh, what a, what a dichotomy there, but wow, I really love that. And then, oh, look at that. Love. Wow, I love this. Ooh, and we have this really bright pattern. This would make a really great background for something. And then we have, there's that terrazzo tile pattern. And, oh, wow. These colors, you guys, look at this. This, like, lime, lemon, grass, green, and this turquoise are just fantastic together. I love them. 
Wow, so great, great papers. Um, I don't I don't make dashboards per se much anymore, but I still use the papers for bookmarks and I do keep one dashboard in my planner. Um, but these will be these will be awesome for a whole a whole lot of things. So there are the papers. Oh, and I also forgot to show you here we've got a little dangle clip and it says grateful. So there you go. And it looks like the Medal of the month is silver because our pen there we go, and our clip are both silver. So here are all the planner goodies. If you only subscribe to the planner kit, you get all of this stuff, plus again an insert if you order an insert kit. So there's everything for the planner. Let me put all this stuff back away and we will come back with the planner add-on kit. Alrighty, here we are back with the planner add-on kits. And the first thing I'm noticing is this bag, and wow, I don't remember seeing this um, in the reveal photos, although of course I'm sure it was there. You guys, when the reveal photos come out on the 28th of each, each month, I look at them sort of just like, I look at them just to get an overall vibe of the kit. I don't really go through the photos and zoom in and look at every little detail. I just kind of get like, I look at them for a couple minutes to get an overall vibe of the kit and then I don't look at them again. And when my kit comes then and I'm opening everything really for the first time and seeing it like in detail, this really is the first time that I'm getting like a good look at everything. So if you're thinking like, oh, she's already seen all that, why is she acting like she hasn't? It's because I really kind of haven't. And I'm just noticing that this is green. You guys, this is like a forest green color. I love that. That is awesome. Um, again, with sort of this Jackson Pollock look, which I freaking love, that, man, that greenish yellow is just speaking to me. Okay, um, <laughs> I'm going to get off track here. Here is the rest of the planner add-on kits. So let's get a look inside of here. And there are certain things that always come with the planner add-on kit, but I tell you what, a Simon clip is not one of them. And I am psyched to see this guy. Oh my gosh, he is wearing an Argyle sweater and a tie. Oh my gosh, and carrying a cup of coffee with a daisy on it. I freaking love this, wow, this is so cute. I was gonna pull out, and I probably still will, my Simon and Betty, um, clips from, oh boy, was it October or November last year? One or the other, I can't remember, uh, where they have like scarves on and are sipping like hot cocoa. Um, and I'll still pull those out, but I love this one. This is just adorable, look at that. Um, let's see, ah, we have a pencil, you guys, a pen and a pencil this month, this is exciting. And we have the terrazzo pattern again, this time pretty much all in blues, which I love. It's got the silver hardware to match the pen. It's got the daisy on top. If you've never seen the Coco Daisy pencil before, you just twist up at the top and there's the lead coming out there. I think this is pretty thick lead. I wanna say it's 0.9 maybe. Um, I keep these pencils at school and I use them to make uh, answer keys for my, uh, for the math papers that I give the kids. Um, so these are, I love these. They're nice and bold to write with, uh, but the, also if you pull the top off, there is an eraser underneath and this eraser is replaceable. So when it gets too low to use, you can put a new one uh, here in its place. So I'm collecting, getting a nice collection of these at school. This is the second one now, so it's kind of nice to have these. The pencil is awesome. We have another roll of washi tape and I'm seeing right away, this is that awesome leaf pattern, which is really cool. The green with the background looks like it might have a little bit of pink on it. So that's awesome. We have another package of die cuts. And let me go through these nice and slowly for you so you can see. I love that weekend die cut. The leaves are cool. We have some words, some little banners, more of the big leaves. The heart is awesome. I like that the weekend one too. Appreciate everything. Grateful for this life. Creativity takes courage and imagination, I think that says. It's hard to get in close. I just, the colors, I just really love the colors. I love that the October Autumn Whimsy and now the November colors are really unexpected. As much as I love the typical 
pumpkins and gourds and all that stuff for fall. Like last year, I was in love with the November, October, November kits, but these that are is just sort of unexpected, I also am just freaking out over, so I love that. Um, and then we have this little glassine envelope, which is always closed with a bit of the washi, so there you get to see it rolled out a little bit. And here we have some goodies. And these, this always comes in the planner add-on kit. We have a large four by six card, which this card is beautiful. First of all, it's got that green and turquoise, those colors. Grateful for small things, big things, and everything in between. That's really pretty. And then the back of it is just plain. So this would be a pretty decoration for your planner. We have some stickers. So we always have this sheet that has alphas on top and numbers on the bottom and the days of the week. I use the days of the week usually as my monthly headers and I always love this set with the numbers and the colored circle around them. And then we have this page which has some words at the top, some check flags, and then these icons. Ooh, look at that one. Today's agenda, ooh, that's cool. I usually end up using the, the trash and the recycling and the meal planning if somebody has a birthday or if I have to pay bills. These are good little, and I like that these are small. Um, they fit on my planner page without taking up a lot of space. And then we have a decorative page, and I am freaking out over all of these leaves. And look, here are some more of those page reinforcers with a little dot in the middle. So this is like, it's like a little donut sticker if I can pull it up. See? and then you have the dot in the center. So you can use this as a page reinforcer, or you can, I don't know, use it for whatever you want, just as a decoration too. So that's cool, be grateful, stay humble, very cool. And then we also have a couple of pocket cards. So this kit has the, what I call the swatch card. It has a little bit of every color that's in the kit. So this is really good when I am choosing inks um, to go with my, when I want to stamp stuff, uh, I'll probably keep this out later on when I go to look at all my leather samples and see what planner I want to order. Um, I like to keep this actually in my planner. So if I'm out someplace and I just need to know a color, like if I'm at Michael's and I'm trying to buy some paper or something, uh, you can always pull this out and match the color. So that's cool. It makes a good bookmark. And then we have two pocket cards that are just decorative. Here's that terrazzo pattern. Each morning we are born again. What we do today is what matters most. That's a great quote. Fall is proof that change is beautiful with the leaves. So there we go. So here we are. We are through the planner and planner add-on kits. And we have barely begun to scrape the barrel with all the goodness. So stick around with me and let's see, how about if we go for one of the memory keeping kits next? Uh, how about the pocket memory keeping kit? Yeah, we'll do that one next. All right, here we are with the pocket memory keeping kit. You can already see there is a lot of good stuff in here. And let's get this opened up. I see a stamp set on the top that I'm already in love with. I see lots of stamping this month, you guys. Lots of stamping this month because there's this great mix already of the functional stamps, remember, from the planner kit, and now these decorative stamps, which I'm in love with. <laughs> totally stuffed. The leaves. This is going to make a great layout. I can see it in my mind already. That's going to be awesome. Let's see. November 2019. That's cool. Happy Thanksgiving, autumn air, family food fun, football season. Yes. Going to get my cook on. These are cool, the stamps, you guys, because if you notice, there is um, like a dark, like a full stamp, and then a detail stamp for each shape. So like you could stamp this, like say in a pale green, and then you could stamp this in a darker green over top of it, and you could make layers. Or you could just use the clear stamps, um, the detail stamps, or you could just use these as like background stamps. This is really, this is cool. So that's, I'm excited to see that. We have another package of sticky notes. And these, ah, Grateful Four. Now this would be fun to do daily gratitude because there are surely more than 31 pages or 30 pages here for November. This would be a kind of a cool, fun thing to do for gratitude. So I gotta keep, I'm having, I'm getting all sorts of ideas, you guys. I wish I could show you what was in my head, but you'll see soon enough, I guess. Here is another package of die cuts, and we have all sorts of labels and tags from the memory keeping kit. Let me turn this sideways, maybe you can read some of these a little bit better. 
nap time for sure. Lots of, there are a few decorative ones, a couple of tags, which I like. And then some of these are just really fun to layer. Ooh, pie time, nap time. I think those two need to go together on one layout. <laughs> uh, excellent. And we have, ooh, some more cork. Oh, and I, have, I do remember seeing these. There are some vellum die cuts. So this is gonna be a very delicate little package here. Let me be careful with this. So we have some cork um, sort of, I guess, die cuts. They're very thin and you just put some adhesive on the back and stick them down. So we've got gather together, be grateful every day, creativity takes courage. We have enjoy family. There's another creativity takes courage and hello autumn. So these are really pretty. I like that they're thin because I don't like to put anything that's too bulky in my memory book. So I like the fact that they're thin. And then we have these vellum die cuts. So these are cut from vellum. You see how thin they are? This is like a gold, like a sort of like a shimmery gold. And then we have also this green, like lime green color. So I'm gonna to try to sort of put these out here so you can see them. There's gratitude, family, I'm trying to be careful to not break these, family, autumn make sure you can see all them another leaf and then here's a gold leaf like a maple leaf and then we have that leaf there's another maple another one of these oh my goodness I'm in love with this one look at that wow holy moly oh wow oh my goodness see I'm look I'm seeing I'm seeing a layout already look at that the leaf with the title and we have another one of those, and we have one of two of these. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. That is gonna be pretty. Here's another one that says autumn. Oh my gosh, I'm trying so hard not to tear or bend these. Here is another one that says gratitude. And then we have these two that are also like cut out. These are gorgeous, 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 okay? Wow, those are gonna be fun to play with you guys. So they're gonna be such a delicate and pretty layout. I'm excited about those. Let me just sort of gently push these together and off to the side. Last thing I wanna do is destroy them. And we're gonna dig into this envelope and here are all the pocket cards. So there's a small package of four by six cards Eat, drink, and be cozy on the back side. Same. Oh, there's the leaves, which I love. Leaves. Ohana, that's the Hawaiian word for family. Oh, that pattern is really pretty. I like that one. Thanksgiving. And then we have this, which maybe would make a nice title card. And the back side. You guys, this, this kit this month is making me wish that I was in like a big old A5 planner with like a thousand dashboards because I want to use every single piece. And I usually don't end up using every single piece because my planner just is not that big. Um, let's see, and then we have the pocket cards and I will flip through these. Oh, that's pretty, very quickly for you. There's a quote. This is our home. Oh, I really like the dark color of this one. That is beautiful. Love lives here, noted. Snapshots of our life. Document this. Home is where the heart is. There's the leaf. These little cards are good for journaling. Um, and also just for, like, I love the quotes. If you just want to stick a quote someplace so when you open your book, you see it and are reminded of something. That's nice, too. Happy Turkey Day. Oh, that's pretty plaid. Cozy days. A quote. Gratitude. Oh, I like that one. Ah, there's that pattern that I love. Here is the calendar card. There's always a calendar card. And I like, I don't know if you've noticed, on one side it's Sunday to Saturday, and on the other side it's Monday to Sunday. So you can use the side that your brain likes the most. Oh, these are cool. So you could use this as is or cut these out. That's awesome. November moments, like that. Create a life you love. 
Autumn is my favorite time of year. The weather is finally starting to break a little bit today. Thank goodness. Like two days ago, I left work and it was 98 degrees out. Like, hello, this is not what I call fall. Uh, there's my pattern. Family's everything. Our family is just one tent away from being a full-blown circus. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, thankful for, and there's a place to make a list. Ooh, that one's pretty too. Lots of pretty pocket cards. I love these. I, I use them as decoration. I like to tuck them in my planner to write notes on. If I need to just jot something down rather than using a post-it, I can use something pretty. Um, these are just fun. I just like them. You can put photographs on them. They're very cool. And you guys, we're still not done with the pocket planner kit. There's so much in here. Here's another tag, which is fun. I usually... I usually decorate one of these to put in the pocket of my planner, and then the other ones that I get, I decorate to use in my memory keeping book, so that's cool. We have the chipboard stickers, so this is a little bit thicker chipboard, and these um, have adhesive on the back, so you can just pop them out and stick them down, and they're kind of fun. I like this one. That's neat. And then, ooh, what have we here? Ooh, we have an alphabet. And this alphabet is very cool looking. Oh, look at that. So these are a little bit thicker than normal sticker paper. And can you see, you can see the letters cut out. That's really cool. I like the feel of these. This is awesome. Hey, you guys, look at this background packaging. That would be neat to use for something. And yeehaw, I got two packages of the stickers, awesome. And then we have the memory keeping papers, which are awesome because they're different from the planner papers. So you, they're also double-sided. There's that. There is that. Oh, I like this graphic. There's this. Oh, that's just like that pocket card we were looking at a minute ago. This one, that's a nice frame for something. And then we have this one. Ooh, look at that, the terrazzo, nice. So here is, oh my gosh, all of this stuff from the Pocket Memory Keeping Kit. You guys, this kit is reminding me so much of college. I was in architecture school in the mid 1980s and even though the Memphis style was a little bit be like around that time, um, it's just, this is very cool. Some of this is reminiscent of the 70s, but a lot of this is just making me think of architecture school, so I'm just in love with this kit. There is the pocket memory keeping kit. Let's go next for the TN memory keeping kit. All right, my friends, next up is the TN memory keeping kit. Let us get a good look at all the goodies inside here. I'm seeing these puffy leaves already through the package. And it looks like we've got a few more. Oh, we've got a couple more of those. I'm not gonna take these out. They're impossible to get back into the bag, um, as I just discovered. Uh, they say, this one says thankful. There's two of them in the gold um, of that vellum. So that's awesome. That'll be nice to have. And we have some washi, thankful, grateful, thankful, grateful. So that's nice. I love the color of this. And looks like we've got another pencil, sweet. So now I can keep one at work and have one at home. That's exciting. I love that. And here's another package of die cuts. And these are, again, different from all of the other packages of die cuts. So it's really cool, let me turn this sideways, to have all of these options and choices. That tag is gonna be really cool. And these tabs, more leaves. Very cool, Chap November chapter 11. That's cool, because it's the 11th month and another little tag. So those are fun, all in those good colors. And then, oh yay, look, more stamps, more leaves. That makes me happy. And then here's just a really cool kind of interlocking pattern. This would make a cool background, as would this, as would this. I think these would layer really cool. So that's gonna be fun to play with. Oh yes, definitely November is gonna be a good stamping month for sure. And then here are some puffy leaf stickers. These are cool. Can you see the dimension on these? Let me get it out of the packaging so it's not getting a glare. Here we go. See how there's like ridges in there? That's really cool. And they feel like, they almost feel like 
a satiny kind of vinyl. These are neat. I like these, and I like the double color. That's awesome. And, oh my gosh, look, you guys, those same alphas, but this time in like a dark teal blue. Oh, wow. These are amazing. I'm excited to use these. Sweet. And then we have the TN Simple Dory and Memory Keeping Papers. So the papers are the same papers. Ooh, I forgot about this. The same papers that you just saw in the pocket kit, but there are doubles of them. So it's the same papers, but you have 10 sheets instead of five which is, I mean, fantastic. So between this and all of the planner papers, like you are covered with paper. And then oh, I have forgotten you guys that the T-square was being in, um, included this time. So this, when I was in architecture school, I used a large T-square, like one that was like 24 inches long. And you had, this was before computer drafting. We did everything by hand. And I had a large board that was like, I don't know, 48 inches wide by like 36 inches tall. And it had a, um, at first I had a large T-square like this, um, except it was much bigger. And then I had um, a, a, like a straight T-square. It was like a, a straight, uh, I don't know what you call it. I can't remember what it's called anymore. Uh, just like a straight bar that was uh, attached to wire so it could slide up and down the board. And you could draw horizontal lines with it. And then you used your triangles these triangles up against it to make your vertical lines. I still have a lot of my architecture school tools. So the T-square is awesome because you can use it to draw horizontal lines. So let me show you a little bit how that's going to work. So here is your simple dory. And let's get a look in here. We'll flip through it real quick and get a look at all the patterns. The Simple Door is awesome. It has some layouts where you have one page design and one page blank for journaling or titles or things like that. I can't get a good grip here. Some of the pages are double like this. Some of them are blank like this. So let's say you go to a page like this one that is, this one has a dot grid on it. Let me see if I can find the one. There's always one in here, I think, that doesn't have a grid background. Or even, well, even like this one, for example. Let's say the gratitude page. This page is just plain white, as you can see. Well, what if you wanted to put lines of text on here? You take your T-square and you take the left edge and you butt it up against the page and then you can slide it up and down and draw lines very easily like this. You could also turn it sideways if you wanted to do vertical lines like this. Um, I mean, you could even use it, you could use it to make anything, but the nice thing about this is that it's cut so that it will work at a 90 degree angle so that you don't have to um, guesstimate and your lines won't go like all wonky. This is a really awesome tool to have and I'm so grateful that Coco Daisy has included it. This is something that I will use every month going forward. Um, let me flip through the rest of the pages here so you can see the grid page. Oh wow, love that. And love that. And I skipped one and love that. Wow, there are a lot of great pages this month. A lot of great pages. So there you go. This, the, ah, that's going to be so awesome. And here are all the goodies from the TN Memory Keeping Kit. So lots of good things to play with this month. And let's see, I've got still the classified planner kits and all of the stickers. So let me come back right now with all the stickers. All right, here we are with the three sticker kits that I subscribe to. We have the Daisy Weeks sticker kit, which is meant to be used with the Hobonichi Weeks style planners. We have the um, memory keeping, or I'm sorry, this is the planner uh, sticker kit. And then we have the memory keeping sticker kit. So let me start with the Daisy Weeks. Um, I love these. I've been using these in my work planner, which is not a Hobonichi Weeks, but it is uh, I designed the pages to be able to fit Hobonichi Week stickers, so I've been loving this kit. We have some vellum words, we have the numbers so I can date uh, all of my days, and then we have some washi strips down below. And then we have our functional stickers, so there's our to do today, we've got some check boxes, some trackers, we have lots of like banner stickers. 
we have a whole page of washi strips, which I love. Love, 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 love. We have, here is the date cover. So I use Monday through Friday because it's my work planner and I don't work on the weekends. So Monday through Friday. And this little blank spot, that's where those days of the, the numbers would go. And then we have some icons and some labels. And then we have a page of decorative. Gosh, I'm loving all the leaves. Just loving them. I love to plan. Uh, these little banners I love too. And then we have some more sort of like check boxes. I use these like sometimes I'll put this uh, down like say for Monday and if I have an appointment I'll put the time here and then next to it write what it is. So I like those. Lots of different sizes and these these little flags are sized to be the same height as the days of the week so you can put them right next to each other like that. So there's the Daisy Weeks kit. Absolutely love it. And then we have the planner sticker kit. So I use this in my, well actually I use both of these sort of interchangeably in my planner and in my memory book. I just sort of look between them. Uh, there's really not much, if anything, that's the same here. Um, we have this, which is like a sort of vellum washi strips, which I love. These are, these wide strips are actually cut into narrower pieces. You can feel it, but you can't really see it. And then, and then these you can write over, which is cool. And then we have the full boxes. These are Erin Condren sized, so they fit perfectly in Erin Condren sized boxes. And more strips at the bottom. Gosh, the leaf strip, I'm loving. And then we have these trackers and boxes for to-dos. And then we have this page of quarter boxes and half boxes, plus some words, plus some hydration stickers. And then we have these, our to-do today, this week, next week, some larger flags, some little uh, banners, the weekend banner, and then a whole bunch of decoratives and some icons. And then we have this page, which has a little bit more whimsical feel to it. These icons, um, I really love these every month. I like these too. The water sort of look like watercolor. And then we have some more decorative. I am in love with the box and the leaf. Love, love, love. Can't wait to use those. Very cool. And then the memory keeping sticker kit. Here's a page of... Uh, sort of see-through vellum stickers. I love these. I really would love to use these in my planner, but they're, my planner boxes are too small for these, so I really have to kind of keep them either for memory keeping or just hang on to them to use um, uh, in my happy planner next year. So there's those. And then we have the full boxes. So I think, let me pull the full boxes out from here. I believe the full boxes are the same. Yes, they are, but you can see how much bigger, okay? These are sized for the big Happy Planner boxes, and these are sized for the Erin Condren. So I could, you can certainly, I can use these in my planner if I just cut them down. So there's nothing that says I can't use those. Just as they are, they are meant for the Happy Planner. But we have those. There's the other sheet, because they won't all fit on one. More of the strips at the bottom. And then we have a great alpha page. I love the alpha page. Always get one of these. And then we have some labels. I like the arrows, those are cool. And then some decoratives, love the leaves. And then finally we have some words. We have some numbers, which I love. I usually use these um, to date my planner boxes. And then some more decoratives at the bottom. So between all the stickers, there's something for everything, and I really do use these. I mean, I pretty much stick with the Daisy Weeks kit for my Daisy Weeks, my um, work planner, because it's week size, but these I just use kind of interchangeably as I see something that I like, and I just peel it up and trim it if I have to. So there's my sticker subs, and the last thing we're going to open is the uh, planner classified kit. All right, guys, here is the planner classified kit, or the rather I should say it correctly, it's the classified 
kit planner edition. If you don't want to know what's in here, don't look. Stop now. Here's your last chance. Three, two, one. We are opening. And ooh, I see lots of good things in there. Let me see what, nothing else in the bag. So we have, oh, we have the button that goes on the back of that big clip with the um, magnets. Where, let's see, where did I put him? Here he is. This came in a kit a few months ago. Gosh, I wish I could remember when now. And these buttons now um, come and it's got the back of it is hollow because it fits right over top of there. And it just sticks on with the magnet. And then the next month you can pop this off and use the um, whatever the next month is. So that's cool to have this. This is awesome. Let me put that clip back over there. We have another roll of the Grateful Thankful washi. We have a clip that says fall with a little heart, which I love. And then we have, well, let's look at these guys. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Looks like we have some felt clips. Ooh, I am loving these colors. Look, wow. These are just like those puffy stickers, you guys. Look at that, so vibrant. Look at this card, very cool. Awesome, here is our Simon card and bonus Betty card. I really love making handmade gifts. I really uh, love getting handmade gifts. <laughs> That's awesome. I love when there's Simon and Betty together. That is so cute. Uh, I'm not going to lie, guys. I usually get the classified kit just because the Simon card is in it, but I always love the other stuff that comes with. So these are fun. This will, I definitely, I always use these in the um, front of my planner so I can see them all the time. We have another tag, which yay, that makes three because I love these. They're so awesome, especially with this pattern. And we have some stickers. So they've started including, gosh, lately these last few months, like extra day of the week bonus stickers. I love this sort of scribble kind of look to it. That's cool. We have some decorative stickers, leaves, and then these like strips, which are cool. We have some more word stickers and some box stickers. Oh my gosh, ah, a whole page of Simons. Oh my gosh, okay, let's look at all these carefully. There's the Argyle sweater. There's another Argyle sweater. There's the terrazzo pattern. We've got another pink Argyle. We've got the dark blue Argyle. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. Wait, I think I'm going the wrong way. And these two. This is awesome, and even a couple of leaves thrown in for fun. Sweet, he is gonna be adorable in my planner. Um, let's see, oh, we have this vellum, which, ooh, you guys, this is rose gold. It's got a definite little pink cast to it. I don't know if you can tell, but that's really pretty. I love that. And, oh, look at the acetate. Let me put it back down on the white. I think you can probably see it best on my white table. Really, really pretty. I'm going to have to find a way to use that up against something white so that those colors will shine through. So there we go. There is our planner, our classified kit planner edition. And that is it for all of my subscriptions, you guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed seeing everything. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. And I can't wait to get creating with this. I wish November was coming up a little sooner than it is. Uh, happy planning, see you next time. All right guys, here's a little bonus segment and I want you to help me pick out a planner color. I have gone through my samples and chosen some that I think would match well and I want you to help me choose. Here is the planner sticker kit all laid out so we can get an idea of the colors. And I've got two Lush samples here. This is Lush Ocean or Lush Sunflower. I have a Zoe sample. Now this is lace and the last time I checked it was not available. I'm hoping that it comes back, um, but there's an option that for a neutral that's not exactly a white. And then I have four spice colors here. I have Chili, which has just come back into stock, which I know looks kind of dark, but honestly, I kind of like a dark planner for these light colors to pop up against. I have 
saffron, which I don't even know if is, is available, but it was in my, um, I've got it in my samples and I'll have to check, but this sort of orangey color, which I think would pick up the teal nicely. I have turmeric, which is this really pretty golden yellow color. So not really as matchy matchy as the sunflower, but it would again be a nice base for these colors. Or I have spice juniper, which is this really pretty teal color that's in the very similar to the ocean, but a little bit darker and a little bit a little bit cooler, I think. So if you have an opinion, please leave it down below. Thank you.